Hi, I'm Jimmy, and this is my Iron Man progress video. Okay, there's one of the tasks done, which is to kill Orkath with uh, melee. That's fun. Uh, kind of an uh, interesting one. Never did it before, and uh, now that I've got the lance, I thought it was a good time to try. Um, I just need to double check. That's actually what our 100th combat task, which is kind of cool. Uh, but I believe there's only one other task, which is I need to kill the spawn without crumble undead. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. The only thing I can see online is to use a dark bow, which I don't have. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Ah, oh, there we go. Thank God. I needed to. I just needed to do a few kills with the void set on, so I didn't have to keep swapping between all of my stuff. It took me maybe two, two or three tries with the void set. I hate doing Vorkath range now that I have a melee set up. So uh, this is a relief that this is over, and I can get back to it. Uh, that's an interesting one. Uh, that's a Vorkath head. Uh, 239. Uh, I think that I can use that. I think I've, I've used one for the player-owned house, so I think I can just use that one for, uh, I guess, the helmet. So that's another one off the list for the Slayer Helmet collection. Oh damn, I didn't even notice that that was coming up. That is 250kc of Warcraft. <laughs> I didn't even have a second thought about it. I was mindlessly killing this thing. Uh, that's cool. I don't think there's any more tasks for kill count at Warcraft. I believe that's the last one. So uh, that's good for that. The, all, all the other stuff is just killing it in inventive ways. So uh, yeah, that was really cool. Well, 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 here we are. After much, much angst and anger on reddit and twitter and everywhere else we finally made it to uh oh, old school hd uh i'm kind of debating at the moment uh, you see i've just come back from a task um well this was from yesterday um I i'm debating on whether i'm going to play for the rest of it with hd on uh, I'm actually loving the look of it. There's some places in this game that just look fantastic, especially with all the shadow work and the lighting. It just makes the game look like an entirely different experience and something akin to the 2008 version that many people remember fondly, or RuneScape 2. Uh, but uh, I'm not sure what uh, what I'm going to choose for, uh, for the foreseeable future, uh, whether or not I want to keep on the old classic stuff or if I'm going to play on HD, but... I'm going to try out HD for a bit, so that's where you'll see the clips, and, uh, you know, maybe pop a comment down below if uh, if you have any strong feelings one way or the other. I think HD looks really nice, and it gives a, a new spin to old school RuneScape. Hey, you guys remember last episode where I told you to go do your Tears of Gothics? Well, go do your Miscellanea, too. It's waiting for you. It's almost free loot. Go do it. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Well, with uh, the start of OS HD, I believe that I should probably actually go and get all the upgrades that I wanted for my house. There's a bunch of stuff that I wanted to do and I just never got around to it. So I have some plans with what I want to do, but I think I'm going to take some time and actually just build up a whole bunch of stuff that I want for my house to make it look a whole lot nicer. So I'm going to probably just flash on to my edited and upgraded player owned house. Well, this looks about good for all of my renovations. Uh, I've done a bunch of stuff. Uh, I decided to go with a spirit tree and a fairy ring in two separate places because I can't be asked to do all the menu hopping. So uh, I had them in two separates and just because uh, so the way a player owned house works is if you um, basically have one, one room that sticks out it'll increase the loading time. So having one extra room here uh, would then have like an extra line planes, basically. Uh, that would extend the, the, the wait time. So with what, everything that I have here, I'd have one in extra space anyway. I don't need any other rooms. So I just thought, why not? I'll have something different. Uh, I can 
have the option to put another pool here. Uh, the only thing I'm thinking of there is uh, the way that I've got it set, set up when I spawn in. I've got my uh, my pool fairy rings, I've got a spirit tree, I've got my jewelry box, I've got my portal, and i got my edgeful teleport here. If I had the pool here, it would be a, a, probably quicker to just click there, click edgeful, or click there, click spirit tree. So maybe you do that in the future, but I don't know, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Uh, everything else, I just kind of added the scenery stuff. So I've got my magic cape rack, which I will fill out eventually. Uh, it's bookcases and, you know, cat pillows and just drapes, you know, things to make the place look nice. The only other actual helpful things I did, I finished off all of the tool sections here so I can get rid of some of the tools. Once I've finished maxing and I'm clearing everything out and just get rid of all the tools and anything that I need, I just teleport to house and I use them here. And of course this now looks super fancy. This was super expensive because but all three of these things require gold leaves. Uh, I think this one had multiple gold leaves that I needed. That had one and the lectern. The only thing that really matters is the lectern because I've upgraded it to the final one, which now means that I have access to all of the possible uh, things so I don't have to buy an extra one. Originally you would have had to have two separate ones, but they did an update like a year and a half ago that added this. So finally got around to doing it. So I just went around and made my place look really nice and I kind of love it. So that's all. Nice little side project, making my house look pretty. Alright, Duradel, anything interesting for me? No. Uh, well, that certainly is interesting, uh, since we have a lost page, uh, or an ancient page. So I guess that's just a neat little collection log thing, so we just add that to uh, to the log. Okay, Duradel, give me something disgusting. Okay. Alright. There me. Alright. <sighs> Oh hey, there we go, 103 strength. Uh, came up kind of surprising to me, but uh, hey, nice little side goal. Meh. Uh, oof. You know what, this is going to be a good task to do. But my very last task. And there we go. Finally, it got interrupted from the death, but that's fine. We made it to 99 Slayer. It's one of the ones that everybody seems to get almost immediately. Uh, and I took my damn sweet time with it. But I wanted to end it over here on Cerberus with the last kill. Uh, I killed a whole bunch of Hellhounds and then went and did one Cerberus kill just to finish it off. But there's 99 Slayer. Completed. So, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to make myself... Well, run all the way over to go talk to, I'm pretty sure it's Duradel. Let's just throw all this crap in here and take out some cash and the gloves, of course. Let's go talk to him and see what he has to say. Can I just speak with him? Can you sell me a Slayer skill cave? Okay. Great, I've always wanted one. And there it is. 99 Slayer is achieved. There we go. Alright, let's take all the rest of the stuff off so I could see it as is. It looks pretty good in the uh, in this lighting and we're going to do the skill caper mode. Of course, always do the skill caper mode. It's a very basic one. It's not one of the best, but it is one of the nicest skill capes just because everybody loves Slayer and this gives you the chance to get double the tasks, back-to-back -back tasks. So, uh, yeah, fantastic reward. And a very, very long grind, finally over. And that does just about finish off everything. Uh, that's the end of the episode. It is a bit of a shorter one this time. That's because some of the stuff that I do after getting the Slayer Cave takes up a lot of time. Um, spoiler alerts, we do finish off some Clue Scroll stuff and some Alking and basically all of the stuff I'd be holding off for for a long time for finishing Slayer uh, all gets done in the next episode so there's a lot of stuff to go through I may you know if I can get let's say five likes if I get five likes we can upload it a week early that video of me just collecting just collecting all of the clue scrolls all of the alks all of the keys from uh, 
from Konar. All that stuff. We'll do that in a week early if we can get it. Um, but hey, that's that's how it is. That's what we got next. Uh, and as you can see, brand new outro kind of on a loop is just me chilling. And uh, with HD client, I'm really loving the HD client. Again, say it in the comments if you uh, if you particularly hate the HD client, or if you don't care, or if you really like it, you want it in all the videos. Uh, at the moment, I'm quite liking it. The stuff that I'm doing AFK, I turn it off because it's you know a lot more stressful on the computer. But uh, and I don't really care when I'm AFK. So there are some clips coming up that will not have HD, but uh, all of the stuff that I do actively. I probably have HD on. So, uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Jimmy Pickles, as usual. Do all the stuff down below that you have to do. And as always, peace. <laughs>